Hey guys, so it is that time of the year again. Beautylish is having their gift card event, which means you are gonna get a $20 gift card for every $100 that you spend. So I thought I would give you some recommendations. I did a recommendations video last year for this event and it was very long. <laughs> I'm going to try and keep it a little bit uh, more brief than last year's video, but uh, no promises because Beautylish is one of my favorite online retailers and they carry a lot of my favorite brands. So I wanted to give you just a nice kind of like representation of things that um, I have been loving that I highly recommend for you guys. What I'm going to do, same as last year's recommendations video, is I'm going to go by brand. It's just easier for me to think in that way and it also helps me kind of keep things like categorized. What I wanted to mention was a lot of my recommendations are going to be makeup, of course, but I did want to throw in a lot more, I don't know, kind of like self-care type of products like hair and bath and you know these are things that I have been enjoying a lot more this past year. I think because of everything that's going on I've been spending a lot more time at home. I've been spending a lot more time trying to like relax. So anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to kick it off with one of my, I guess, newish kind of favorite uh, body care, skincare brands. And that is Suzanne Kaufman. She has a beautiful line of body care. I have tried now four things from that line. She also has skincare, which I have not tried yet. I'm very, very curious. But I did want to mention the four body care items that I've tried from hers because they have become like fast, fast favorites of mine. So I know I've talked about these two products before and forgive me, I just, I can't remember like in what video or yeah, like when I talked about them, but the Suzanne Kaufman Mallow Blossom Bubble Bath and the Suzanne Kaufman Oil Bath for the senses. These two products just completely transport you. I use this as my bubble bath now all the time. I had to go through some other products that I had and then I kind of started using this a little bit more hardcore. I have a feeling this bottle is probably not gonna last me too much longer. I also don't take as many baths in the summer as I do in the cooler months. So my use of this bubble bath is definitely gonna ramp up, but the uh, scent of this bubble bath, well, the scent of all of her products are very, they're very subtle, they're very fresh, they're very spa-like. Um, they're not overbearing at all. It's just enough fragrance that while you're using the product, you, you have like an experience. And this bubble bath, it just smells really, really fresh. But what's so incredible is when I get out of the bubble bath, my skin from head to toe feels so soft. It doesn't feel oily or slimy or like I had been sitting in anything too greasy. There's absolutely like no film on my body. My skin just feels so soft. It's really fantastic. And then this oil bath for the senses, the scent of this is really clean, it's really fresh, it's really outdoorsy. Like this is a little bit more relaxing for me and this kind of like wakes me up a little bit. And so I like using this, like if I'm kind of doing a soak, I like doing this if I'm soaking my feet. This is really nice just to add a little bit. And again, even though this is an oil, it doesn't feel like too much on the skin. It just makes my skin feel just really, really soft, it makes it feel very moisturized. It makes my skin just feel really, really healthy. So these two bath products I'm absolutely in love with. And what I just started most recently using from Suzanne Kaufman is her body scrub and her body butter. So her body scrub, this is like a moussey texture. It doesn't have like a dense kind of like solidified oil to it. It's not, um, lotiony in any way it really is like a whipped texture it's not too heavy it doesn't really like coat your body in any way and then the granules in there are really really fine where i feel like i'm getting a really effective exfoliation without it being too rough and i like a rough exfoliator. I have very dry skin on my body, but sometimes I feel like rough doesn't always necessarily mean like my skin is being like evenly exfoliated. Sometimes I feel like I'm just scratching myself, which feels great too. But this gives me just a really nice, even exfoliation where my skin just ends up feeling like really, really soft, not like raw <laughs> in any way, but just really, really soft. And then this body butter as a follow-up is like the perfect combination for my super dry skin. So this body butter is really interesting. It has um, a very dense texture, as you can see. It definitely is like a, a butter, a body butter. But when you put it on, 
it's not greasy in any way. It's not oily in any way. It's almost, almost like a dry body butter. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but almost like a dry oil. You know, you put it on, it's moisturizing. You feel it like feed into your skin, but to the touch, it's kind of dry. There's a, a dryness to it. It's almost the same for this body butter. It's not quite to the extent of like a dry oil, but there is like a non-greasiness to this body butter and I love that. Some days I just don't feel like putting lotion on because I just don't want that feeling. I don't want that sliminess on my skin. I don't wanna put clothes on over my lotion. Like I hate that feeling and I don't have that with this. This is such an interesting texture. It's very, very moisturizing. I have it on right now. It's so, so moisturizing, but it doesn't have that feel. It's it's just incredibly unique and I love it. Absolutely love it. And speaking of exfoliation, I did wanna mention a new facial exfoliator that I have been using and really, really loving. And that is from Holly Frog. Holly Frog actually sent this to me and this is the Como Pop E Renewal Scrubby Wash. And this has kind of like that ointment-like texture. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Kind of like an ointment-like texture. And I think what stands out the most about this uh, facial exfoliator for me is that the granules in there are a like a, the teensiest bit rougher than I think the average. And I really enjoy that. I really like a very effective exfoliator. I know some people don't like that, they you know prefer other kind of exfoliators. But because I have sensitive skin, I can't really use like acids uh, to kind of exfoliate my face. I have to depend on, generally, I have to depend on physical exfoliators. And this has been wonderful. Even though I feel like the granules in there are a little bit um, stronger than others that I've used, I don't feel like my skin is raw after I use it. I just feel like I got a really nice exfoliation. And I like that the granules kind of sit in this like, ointment like it actually reminds me of the La Mer exfoliator where it has that kind of like thick kind of oil base and then it has the granules in there and so the granules will exfoliate and then the base of it kind of nourishes your skin at the same time so I've really been enjoying this very very much let's move into some hair care products we're gonna move back into skincare for a little bit but I did want to jump over to Sashawan I love 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 their dark dry powder shampoo this is the dry shampoo that I live by. I don't really use dry shampoo, I think in the way like most people use dry shampoo, either to kind of soak up oils or maybe after a workout or whatever. What I use it for is more of like a texturizing spray where I feel like my hair may need a little bit more body or just needs a little bit more grit. Maybe I used a shampoo that just kind of like cleaned my hair a little bit too much. So I'll spray some of this like just at my roots and I'll just kind of like fluff up my hair a little bit and it just gives me just a little bit of body. You know, obviously it's not like a hairspray where it's gonna make it really sticky or anything like that. And that's it, I just spray it in, I just kind of like run my fingers through it and I feel like I just have that little extra oomph to it. So I think on the nozzle, yeah, you can see that there's like that coloring there, that brown coloring there. So that's the color that's in the dark dry shampoo. And I know I've mentioned this before, probably in favorites, probably uh, in my last recommendations video. This is probably like the fifth or sixth can that I'm on. I just swear by it. I've tried a lot of other different like dry shampoos and they just don't work. They just don't work for me. They're either too strong or they're too mild. They don't do anything. And some that have worked okay kind of make my scalp itchy. I don't have any of those problems with this dry shampoo. And I cannot talk about hair care products without talking about Orbe, which is uh, probably my favorite overall hair care brand. Their products just always seem to work for me. They smell absolutely incredible. And I have definitely talked about this shampoo and conditioner a gazillion times, but I'm just going to reiterate it. I still love it. This is the shampoo for Magnificent Volume, and this is the conditioner for Magnificent Volume. And this is a pair that I started using when I moved here to Vegas uh, from New York. And, you know, the, the water here is very, very different. Um, I'm aging, so my hair has been changing. And I remember when I moved here, it was like all of a sudden my hair was just totally, totally flat. And I was using a different Orbe shampoo and conditioner. It's the one, not the Gold Lust, but it's the one that comes in the black bottle. I can't remember the exact name. Anyway, my hair was just kind of flat. It was really lifeless. And I had never really thought that much about my hair, but I was like troubled. I was like, oh my God, like what is going on with my hair? So I decided to try this magnificent volume. I thought, 
wow, I really need some volume these days. And this shampoo and conditioner has been amazing. I wash my hair pretty much every single day and this doesn't leave my hair too dry. It doesn't leave my scalp too dry. It also doesn't do that shampoo and conditioner thing that a lot of shampoos and conditioners do, which is if you use it day after day after day, they just stop becoming effective. I have been using this combo for years and I can use bottle after bottle after bottle and it always is fine. Every single time I use it, I have just enough lift at my roots. I don't feel like my hair looks totally, totally just like flat and limp and lifeless. And I have tried other um, volumizing shampoos and conditioners, you know, a couple of other ones here and there I've like peppered in there. And I find that they either dry out my hair, like that's how uh, they're gonna give me volume. They just kind of dry out my hair or they leave kind of like this residue in my hair almost almost like uh, like a beach spray or like a sea salt spray. Like you'll feel that kind of grime in your hair and that isn't necessarily my favorite. Like if I want that, I'll spray some of my dry shampoo in my hair. But when I wash my hair, I want it to feel clean. It doesn't need to feel stripped <laughs> or overly clean, but I want it to feel clean. So this shampoo and conditioner is wonderful. If you just want a little bit of volume to your hair, but you want it to feel clean, it's just perfect. Absolutely love it. I've been singing the praises of this combo for a very long time. Another Orbe product that I swear by is the Balm Door. This is like, I don't know, I guess you could say it's kind of like a light lotion kind of texture that I put into my hair before I start heat styling it. It is a heat styling shield. That's how it's described. It's just great because it's like another one of those products that I feel like it does the job. It keeps my hair moisturized. It protects it from the heat, but I've tried other ones, you know, here and there. And a lot of times they just make my hair just like too flat or too slimy. Like there's too much silicone in there where this doesn't feel like that at all. It just feels again, like kind of like a lotion. Like you're just kind of like moisturizing your hair a bit. And then whenever I blow dry my hair, I don't feel like my hair is just kind of getting like frizzier and frizzier as I'm blow drying it. This just does such a good job protecting. And this is another one I've gone bottle after bottle after bottle. And I just use two pumps and that's it. And it lasts me a pretty decent amount of time, but I have gone through quite a bit of this. All right, and the last thing I wanted to mention from Orbe are the hairbrushes. Now, I purchased this flat paddle brush uh, when I wanted to replace my Mason Pearson brush. This brush is so beautiful. I love this like color wood. I love this like gold medallion in there. I need a new hairbrush. Let me just go ahead and try it. This hairbrush is amazing. It is a uh, boar bristle and plastic. So it's a combination and it's such a great combination because the boar bristle like really uh, grabs onto your hair, but the plastic bristles, uh, which are smooth, really allow the brush to kind of go through without like tugging, you know, kind of like move through your hair without tugging. But I love how it doesn't like, I don't know, like frizz out my hair. There are a lot of brushes out there. I feel like every time I brush my hair, it, it almost makes my hair look drier as I'm brushing it and kind of makes it look more flyaway and crazy. I don't get that with this brush. I just feel like my hair is shinier when I use this brush. And speaking of shinier, this Orbe brush, this is the large round brush. I believe there's a medium and maybe a small or maybe just two sizes. Anyway, this is the large round brush. So this is what I have been using to kind of like blow dry my hair out. This is something I use like after my hair has been dry and I just maybe need to like tidy myself up. I'll use this flat paddle brush, but this large round brush is what I use to dry my hair. So this round brush has um, just boar bristles. So it grabs onto your hair really easily. But what I notice is two things, like I'm not, great on my hair. So when I'm blow drying my hair, you know, I know people section off their hair and they like blow dry each part or whatever. I try and do that, but by the time I get to like the top of my hair, I'm just kind of sticking my brush in, <laughs> you know, and just trying to get some hair in there and just like blowing it out or whatever. So what I notice is with other brushes, when I do that, my hair gets all knotted. <laughs> I'm just kind of like pulling it down. I'm just trying to like wiggle my brush in there to try and get, you know, all the pieces dry from the root to the end. And when I do it with this brush, it like grabs my hair, but it doesn't like tangle. Like it just runs right through my hair, but because it's boar bristle, it also grabs onto it really nicely. And I find that it isn't super staticky. I mean, when I brush my hair, yes, it's going to have like a little bit, especially because I'm in such a dry climate, but it's not like, it's not, again, it's not like a lot of other brushes that I've used that just is like, you know, your hair is just standing up on end from the static. So it's great for running through your hair without it like nodding up or anything. It just, it grabs it, but it runs through easily. 
And then the other thing I've noticed is that when I use this brush, and again, I'm not, you know, I'm not the best at hair. I don't know a lot about hair, so I don't really know why this would be the case. But when I use this brush to dry my hair, I notice that my hair is shinier when I'm done blow drying it. My hair, again, just from aging or whatever, I've noticed has you know, gotten duller over the years. It's something I've accepted, it's fine. But when I started using this brush to blow out my hair, I was like, wow, I feel like my hair is really shiny. And it was like, it took me a while to put two and two together, but I was like, I think it's this brush. And when I don't use this brush to blow dry it, I do notice it and I notice the difference that my hair just looks a lot shinier when I use this brush. So I'm absolutely loving these Orbe brushes. And then this brush actually comes with this, I don't know, this like pick at the end, um, but it is like a tip that you can turn around and stick into the base of the brush. And then when you need it, you just pull it out, turn it around and then stick it in if you need to like separate your hair. So anyway, those are my recommendations from Orbe. Oh, and I almost forgot, the brushes come in these like beautiful boxes. So they like slide out and the brush sits in there. So these make like great gifts. If you have someone that's like really crazy about their hair, this would be an amazing gift for them. And then sticking with some more hair care products, we're gonna move over into Sicily. And Sicily makes a um, hair serum and a hair oil that I really love. So the Revitalizing Fortifying Serum for the Scalp is something I have now been using for quite some time. It has, uh, I believe, helped with hair growth. That was definitely something, again, I was struggling with when I moved over here to Las Vegas. And I don't think that necessarily had to do with like the texture of my hair. I think maybe that was like the change in the water. But again, I think just from aging, your hair starts to thin out a little bit. So when my hair was like thinning out a little bit and it was looking really flat, I was like, oh my gosh, I really have to do something. So the Orbe um, shampoo and conditioner that I mentioned, that helped a lot. And I also started using this uh, serum for the scalp probably about a year and a half ago and i've gone through like bottles of this i think this is like my fourth bottle i really just love the way that it made my scalp feel i loved that it was kind of forcing me to kind of pay attention to my scalp um a part of my body that i never really paid attention to um, and this was kind of like my uh, gateway into scalp things like i started getting into scalp exfoliators and things like that um, but this fortifying serum i really do think it has helped with hair growth um, people have asked me if they think it helps with my like graying hair i'm like i don't think so my hair is still graying i don't think there's much that's actually going to change that but i do feel like this has helped with hair growth and i do feel like it helps just with like the general health of my hair i feel like i have less breakage. I feel like my hair is just stronger and healthier. And I attribute it all to this um, scalp serum. It is absolutely wonderful. So I just feel like if you, your hair just needs like a little bit of oomph, like I said, like a little bit healthier, a little bit less breakage, a little bit more growth. I think this may work for you. I think it's worked for me. And this is one of those products that I can't go without. So I am at the point now where I use it just once or twice a week. I'm trying not to abuse it too much and use it like every other day. So this bottle has lasted me quite some time, but this item is like part of my like routine. This is part of my hair care routine. All right, and continuing on with Sicily, I'm gonna talk about some skincare products. Uh, many, many of you, this is probably my most asked question, which I find fascinating, but so many of you ask me what eye cream I use. I don't use uh, a typical eye cream at night, but I do use an eye cream during the day. I use the Sicily, what is the full name? This is the Eye and Lip Contour Cream. I don't use it on my lip that much. Um, I probably should start, but I do use this all around my eye, under my eye, over my eye. I have dry eyelids and I bring it out towards my temple and I use this as my day cream. It is fairly uh, thick. I think if you don't have such extreme dry skin like I do, you could probably use this as a night cream easily, but I use something that's even more emollient at night, which is the Retrove Eye Concentrate that is like serious business. So I use that at night and this I just use uh, during the day. Another skincare product that I have to mention from Sicily that I swear by is their Velvet Sleeping Mask. This mask just, I don't know what magic is in it, but it just makes me like look well rested, like instantly. I put a nice like layer on, I leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes, I tissue it off 
and I look like I took a nap or something. I love bringing this when I travel because when I take a plane and I get off the plane and I get to where I'm getting, I usually look completely haggard. And if I wanna look refreshed and awake, I put this on and voila. I look like I just spent a week at the spa. I really don't know what magic is in here, but it is absolutely incredible. And I've used their uh, Black Rose mask, which is lovely also, but it doesn't do what this one does. It doesn't make me look as well rested as this one does, but there really is something wonderful about this mask. And when it comes to Sicily skincare, I could go on and on and on and on. I love their skincare products, but I'm just gonna talk about one more and then we'll move on. Um, this is their Pure Bright Activating Serum. Uh, I have it in an unopened box because I've already gone through one and I've been testing out a bunch of other things. I'm just kind of waiting until I'm done testing a few products and I can kind of go back to this because this is one of the best serums if you have larger pores. I have uh, larger pores like right in here. They're not, they're not huge. I don't find them terribly problematic, but they are visible. I can see them. And when I use this serum, they are minimized like visibly minimized. And on top of the pores, it also does a great job kind of just like evening out your skin tone. So I don't think I've ever gone through a serum quite as quickly as I went through this one. I was like addicted to this serum. So I'm so happy to have a backup of this. And like I said, I'm going through a lot of other skincare, which has been wonderful, but I'm kind of like excited to get back to this particular serum. All right, let's talk about Sisley foundations. So let's move into makeup now. Um, I love Sisley foundation, but I do want to kind of go through these in case you're trying to decide like which one to get. This is going to come out sounding very negative, but this is my least favorite. This is their, uh, basically their tinted moisturizer. It is like a tinted moisturizer. It's light in pigmentation, it's light in texture, and it is great for just, you know, everyday like light makeup if you don't want to do anything serious. My um, issue with this, and probably because all the other Sisley foundations are so incredible, but this just didn't really have great longevity. I felt that it broke up like around my nose pretty quickly. It just, yeah, it just didn't really have the longevity. I just didn't feel like it wore very well. Um, so that's the tinted moisturizer. And then the rest of their foundations are incredible. So I think what I can say for all three of these, so this is the um, Sisley, the anti-aging foundation. This one is the tinted sunscreen cream. And then this is the cushion foundation. All three of these have a great, great amount of coverage and pigmentation. I would say all of them have like around a medium coverage but they don't look heavy or cakey or, or anything. They're so, so natural. They're like, imperceptible on the skin and they last. They last all day. I never have a problem with these foundations kind of like wearing away. Yeah, they just wear well all day long and they just have such a lovely skin-like finish. They're not too radiant. They're not too dry looking at all. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So I love all three of these foundations. This foundation definitely has a little bit of a lighter texture. It has a lighter coverage and the finish of it is probably the least radiant out of all of these. It's the most skin-like, I would say, but this one, which is the uh, Fito 10 Ultra Eclat, this one has the longest wear. If you need like a 12 hour kind of foundation, I would go for this one. This is, it's lovely. They all look really beautiful and flawless on the skin, but this one I would say lasts the longest out of out of all of these. And just a few more things from Sicily Makeup, their new powders. So they recently reformulated their pressed powder. These are incredible. So I have both of these on. I have this natural color, which is just my uh, natural kind of like skin tone shade. So this is what I kind of put all over to set my makeup. And then I use this number four bronze as kind of like a light bronze all over my face. This powder is so impeccable. I feel like it sets my makeup down. I feel like it mattifies anything that may be a little bit too radiant, but it does not make my skin look dry at all. In fact, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna swatch a little bit of this natural and it just has like a teensy bit of a sheen to it so that it gives your skin this kind of like 
lit from within glow. There aren't any like sparkly particles in this powder per se. It just has this beautiful like luminosity. And I've been using these pretty much every time I've been putting makeup on these days. It's just a great powder. And usually when I set my makeup down, I like to use like a loose powder, but this has been so wonderful that I've just been reaching for this and it's just so much easier <laughs> to use. Uh, I don't have to like dump out the loose powder. It doesn't get everywhere. So this has just been great. And it also comes in this really beautiful like red velvet pouch with the S there. It's like an envelope closure. Really nice. And much like Sisley Skincare, when it comes to their makeup, I could go on and on and on. I mean, there's so much of their makeup that I love, absolutely love and adore. Um, but I'm just gonna talk about one more thing because I don't think these are talked about nearly enough, but these are the Sicily lip liners. I have a few shades and this one is Beige Naturel. I have this on my lips today. These lip liners, I, they're just fantastic. They're one of those magical formulas. They go on in a really creamy, easy way and you think, oh, this lip liner isn't gonna last but it definitely sets down, but it doesn't set down to the point where it's very dry. I find that to be the case for most lip liners. They're either so emollient that they don't stick around or they're easy to put on. They kind of have that silicone kind of feel. They set down and then all of a sudden I feel like the edge of my lips look and feel really, really dry. And I don't get that with this lip liner. It goes on smoothly and easily. It feels really, really soft on the lips and then it doesn't budge, yet it doesn't feel dry at all. It is one of those really magical, magical formulas. One essential item I think that for me is like integral for self-care and staying at home and relaxation, and that is candles. And if you like scented candles, even better. If you can find one that just really like transports you, relaxes you or energizes you, whatever it is, I just, there's just nothing better. And as you guys know, I love Jo Malone candles. I would recommend any of them, all of them. Um, but what really caught my eye on Beautylish was this um, Valentine's Day. I think they call this a Valentine's Day like travel candle set because they have like the smaller size in here, but they have three of them. I like all of the scents in here because they're kind of warm and I like them for the autumn slash winter. So English Pear and Freesia is this one over here. That is one of my favorite like winter Christmas time scents. There's something about it. I don't know what it is, but it just reminds me of the winter and the holidays. Um, and then there's Red Roses and Peony and Blush Suede. And Red Roses, it smells like uh, the Jo Malone Roses. It's, it's obviously very, very floral, but I don't find it uh, too heavy. Sometimes I find like a singular kind of like floral scent to just be too heavy or too intense. Maybe that's a better word, too intense. This Red Roses, it's so light, but there's like a certain warmth to it that this is another one that kind of reminds me of the cooler months. I really like this in the late fall. Like this to me is a winter, this to me is a late fall. And then this Peony and Blush Suede is kind of like an earlier fall. So this is another kind of floral scent, but it's a little bit more uh, like powdery, like the way peonies smell versus roses. Like there's just a little bit more of like a, a puffiness to it. I like this for spring too, or like late winter. This is a really nice scent. Anyway, I thought this set was really nice. You know, when it comes to sets, candles, lipsticks, perfumes, like I always feel like there's like one or two that I like and then the rest of them I don't, but I love all three of these scents. So I thought this was a really, really nice set from Jo Malone. Oh, and I'm burning, I forgot, I'm burning English Pear and Freesia right there. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to makeup. And of course I had to mention Wayne Goss. So the Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette, I have it on like the outer corners of my eyes and blend it over. I have something else on the inner corners, which we'll talk about in just a second. But this um, luxury eye palette in Imperial Topaz, I absolutely love. I think when Wayne uh, announced this palette, he pretty much just said it all. Like the pigmentation is light, but it's buildable, which I really enjoy. I find them very easy to use. It's just very, very beginner friendly. We have a little bit of warmth. We have a little bit of neutral. We have some satins. We have a little bit of like a top coat shimmer here. It's a really great everyday palette and really beginner friendly, which I think is very, very nice. And then also, of course, I had to mention the Wayne Goss um, blush and highlighter duos. Uh, I, I love them all. I love them all, but I did want to give you like, if I, if I could only choose one, which one would it be? And it is this, uh, Vivid Azalea. 
I just think that this is a very unique shade. And then this highlight I actually have on, I have a little bit of another highlight on top, but I have this down as a base. It's just, it's just beautiful. It has like a little bit of a gold like shimmer to it. It has like a gold reflect to it, but there's like a little bit of peachiness, but there's like a white kind of cool base to it too. It's just gorgeous. I really, really love both products. I love the combo of them. Just stunning. And while this is the one that if I could only pick one, this is the one I would go for, I, I love them all. They're all really, really stunning. All right, next makeup product I had to mention. <laughs> These Jill Stewart Bloom Mix Blushes. Tara Baby's here on uh, YouTube. She turned me on to these. When she swatched these and talked about these, I was like completely mesmerized. I thought, wow, I really have to try one of these out. And obviously I have not turned back. So today I have number two on my cheeks. And that is this one right here. And what I love the most about these blushes is that you can kind of customize like the intensity that you want. Obviously, if you focus your brush on this bright petal, you're going to get, you know, a brighter kind of cheek look. And then any of these like lighter petals obviously will tone that down. So what I like to do sometimes is, you know, pop some of this on the apples of my cheeks, run my brush maybe on the lighter shades and focus that on the back of my cheeks. I just really like that you can play around with these a little bit and kind of customize the intensity. So they're really nice. The powders are incredibly soft. They're incredibly pigmented. You really don't need to like dig your brush in at all. Just a very light tap and you'll pick up plenty of pigment. And there is, there is a fragrance to them. I think they smell kind of like candy, almost like, like a florally kind of like sweet tart. And I have noticed the longer I have the blushes, the more faint the fragrance gets. So it does not last long either while you're wearing it or in general. And let me do a swatch of number two. Number two, I'm just gonna, I'm kind of swirling in all of the petals there. So there's number two. You can see it's a pretty cool kind of pinky purple. Oh, this one I love too. This one is number one. And this one is a little bit peachier. Let me swatch this one too. So that's number one. So number two and number one. This one is number three. This one is probably the softest out of all the ones that I have. So this is one, two, let me just do three up here. So it's a little bit brighter, I think, than this one, but it's softer in appearance on the cheek for sure. And then here's number four. And this one is probably the most uh, like just pinky, like neutral pinky where this one has a little bit of peach to it. This one has a little bit of purple. This one is like pretty light and bright. This one I find to be the most like, kind of like straight up pink. So I have lots more of these blushes, but I would say one through four are probably my favorite. And I feel like kind of cover most of the, you know, traditional blush shades. All right, next let's talk about Danessa Myricks. I mentioned her highlighter palette called Lightwork. She has two shades and Lightwork is the lighter of the two. So this is a highlighter palette with six highlighters in there. This is such a beautiful, gorgeous, bright highlighter palette. I've been using it quite a bit. Here are some swatches. So I swatch basically these three shades over here. These are the three that I use the most. But are those not amazing? They're so smooth and reflective and I love that they have like a very distinct shade to them. This is like a pink, a peach, and a gold. And in the palette, this is the pink, the peach, and the gold. These two are a little bit too deep for me. And then this one is a little bit too like white bright for me. So I really focus on these three and I love the sheen. Smooth, 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 very wet looking. Absolutely love them. So that is the Lightwork highlighter palette. And then what I have on today is the Dew Wet this is like a balm and I have this in the shade Morning Dew. So it's like a it's like a balm. So I have it here over that Wayne Goss uh, Vivid Azalea highlighter. I have it kind of like tapped on top just to give it a little bit more of like a wet kind of look. These are incredible. If you like a wet kind of look to your highlight, these are incredible. And they don't stay like super tacky at all. They're not like a really emollient, sticky kind of balm. So my hair doesn't really get like stuck to my face, which I don't like, but I can like kind of still feel it on my cheek, just FYI. But the sheen of it is gorgeous, is absolutely gorgeous. I love that this one, this Morning Dew one, it looks white in the pan. I don't know if you guys can see the actual kind of like gold reflection in there, but the metallic sheen to it is this beautiful gold. It's like a white gold and it's, 
oh, it's just stunning. It's just really beautiful. Oh my gosh, love it. And then the last thing I want to talk about from Danessa Myricks are these Color Fix foils. They're like liquid glitter. They're for the lip, the cheek, the eye. Um, I have it basically on the inner corners of my eyes right here. So these are basically, they're like a cream product. They set down and they don't budge at all. So they're, they're like one of those products. You have to work pretty quickly with them. Uh, you definitely want to work like one eye at a time. So I prefer working products like these in with a brush. And what I'll do is I'll squirt some of this out on the back of my hand. I'll dip my brush in and then I'll just start patting it onto my eyelid. So when I pat, I feel like I'm just placing it exactly where I want it. I just pat away with the brush. I get this really beautiful, obviously depending on what shade you get, will determine like what the effect is on your eyes because she has like solid colors. She has all of these different shades in this color fix, but this is one of the foils and this is the shade Alien. And I love it because it goes from kind of like a peach to like a rose gold to a gold. Can you? I think you could probably see it in the tube. So if you're into like that kind of like shimmery look, I think you'll love these. All right, next up, let's talk about By Terry. So I have been playing around with the Terribly Denseless Foundation. I have it in the shade uh, 3 Vanilla Beige. So this shade is, it's just a little bit too light for me. Let me just pump some out actually and show you. I like the tone of it. It's very neutral, but you can see how like, white it is. It matches probably like the palest part of my body, but I like I like a little bit more color to my face and just kind of like blend it down. So what I've been doing is mixing it with this By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I will put the shade of what this is <laughs> down below in the description box. I got this as part of like a little set and there's no actual shade for this one, but this is like the the bronze or something. Anyway, it'll be down below in my description box. So I've been mixing these two, like one to one ratio, one pump of this, one pump of this, and that's what I have all over my face today. And I love it. This gives me a little bit of a glow. This gives me a little bit of coverage. This coverage, I would say, because I have worn this alone, this coverage I would say is like a light medium. It is a serum foundation. So it is uh, a little bit on the lighter side. Here, let me blend this out. So there's some beautiful coverage, but it's not too heavy at all. And as you guys know, I really like a light, light medium coverage foundation. So this has been really wonderful. And mixing this in just gives me a little bit more radiance. It gives me a little bit more uh, color and it's just been wonderful. So down here, you can probably see the finish that I have with this mixture. This obviously is highlight but you can see that this gives me like a really beautiful luminosity. And then the other product I wanted to recommend, this is like an oldie but goodie. I remember I used this concealer quite a bit when I first started my YouTube channel and obviously I used it up, it got old and I moved on, I started trying other concealers, but I just started using this again and this is the By Terry Terribly Denseless Concealer and I have it in the shade 2 Vanilla Beige and I have that all over my eyes. This is uh, just like this foundation, it is an anti-wrinkle serum product. So it is very, very lightweight. The coverage for this concealer is very light, light medium. It doesn't give you a lot of coverage. So if you have like very, very dark circles, this is probably not the concealer for you. But if you just want a little bit of brightness uh, around your eye area, which is generally what I need, um, this is wonderful. And the texture is so great because again, it's like a serum. So it's really kind of like eye care and it really keeps my eye area very moisturized and it's just, oh, it's just such a lovely, lovely product. So had to mention the By Terry Concealer. All right, I can feel myself just rambling on and on. So I'm gonna try and just get through the last few products I wanna talk about quickly. Um, so I wanna move on to Kier Weiss. So Kier Weiss just came out with a new liquid foundation. I love this foundation. I thought it looked gorgeous on the skin. It definitely has a bit of radiance. It definitely has a bit of luminosity. Um, it's great if you have a drier skin type <laughs> like I do. It just looked gorgeous. And when I did a wear test of this foundation, I was like cleaning out my garage. I took a nap in my chair. Like I did all the things you could do during a day and this stayed put. And admittedly, I thought when I put it on, because it did have such a lovely radiance, I thought, oh, it's probably gonna fade. It's probably gonna wear away. It stayed put all day. I couldn't believe it. And I tried it again and again, and it just wears all day and it wears beautifully. And Kier Weiss is an organic skincare brand. So that is a huge plus. So this foundation is 
gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. The other product I wanted to mention from Cure Weiss is their cream blush. It's just amazing. It's one of those cream blushes that goes on like a dream. It is not too emollient, but it's not too dry. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's completely weightless. The color range is gorgeous. I have a couple of them and I can't remember the shade name for this one, but I will put it down below in my description box. They just blend out like a dream. They stay put all day so they don't really fade, which I feel like a lot of cream blushes do. They're not sticky, they're not tacky. You can't actually feel it on your face. I've applied this over powder. I've applied powder on top of these blushes. They work perfectly, like in any condition. Absolutely love these. So those are two things I wanted to mention from Cure Weiss. And then I did want to mention um, some mascaras that I've been loving. So today I have on the Surat Noir Lash Tint, and this is the new product from Surat with the, basically the no bristle applicator. So you basically just like swipe this on. It looks like a screw at the end. There's like threading there, which kind of catches the mascara product. And you just kind of graze it over your lashes and it coats each lash beautifully. And aside from this applicator, which makes for really easy application and not messy application, I think what I love most about this um, formula is that it keeps my curl. It's actually surprising how well it keeps my curl. Like all day, my lashes stay curled. Most every other mascara I've tried, even if it kind of keeps my curl in the beginning, by the end of the day, you know, my curls start to straighten out. Totally expected. The curl in these lashes lasts all day. So I really love this mascara. And the other mascara I wanted to mention is from Ilia. This is their Limitless Lash Mascara. It's one of those mascaras that it gives it a little bit of volume. It gives it a little bit of length. Um, it doesn't smudge at all. Neither the Surat nor the Ilia smudge. It wears beautifully all day. The Surat definitely keeps my curl longer than the Ilia, but the Surat also is a little bit harder to remove at the end of the day, where the Ilia just cleans away really easily. Um, so those two mascaras I wanted to mention. And when it comes to Surat, you guys know how much I love the entire brand. I just did like a full kind of face of Surat when I got that Noir Lash Tint. So I'll leave a link to that video if you're interested in kind of checking out uh, what particular Surat products I, I used and like my thoughts on them. But I really love all of his products. And in fact, the lip color I have on today is from Surat Beauty. This is a lip slick in the shade Club Sept. It's just a beautiful like brown. And I have that Sisley Beige Naturel lip liner on, which kind of warmed it up a little bit, but the Club Sept uh, lip color itself is just like a neutral, slightly warm leaning like brown color, which is great, I think, for the fall autumn uh, season. So that's what I have on my lips. I love that formula. But again, I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want like more in depth about Surat, but I love all of his products. And then of course, of course, I cannot not mention Kogendo. So Kogendo just came out with uh, a newly reformulated moisture foundation that appeared in my last month's favorites. That foundation is amazing. It has a medium coverage and it is so, so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's one of those foundations where it, it, it has a medium coverage, but I think of it as like a lightweight, light coverage foundation. That's how easy it is to wear. I don't feel like I'm putting on like a ton of makeup. It just, oh, it just looks like your skin, but a lot better, like a lot better. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It has like the most perfect um, like skin-like finish with just a hint of like luminosity. It wears all day beautifully. I love it. I have it in the shades 113 and 123. And I feel like I kind of go between the two. Like 123 is great for my forehead and 113 is great for like the rest of my face. But if I had to choose one, if you're thinking you have a similar skin tone to mine and you can't decide, I would get the 113. Yeah, I would get the 113. I think this is a better kind of like overall match. And of course the Kogendo Natural Lighting Powder. This is a powder I have also gone on and on and on about, but this is one of my absolute favorite loose powders. It sets my makeup. It definitely mattifies any foundation that may be just a little bit too radiant, but there is nothing drying looking about this powder. It has just the slightest, slightest kind of sheen to it so that it just looks really skin-like. It just makes your skin look really healthy. It's gorgeous. So the natural lighting powder from Kogendo, excellent, excellent powder. And of course, their cleansing spa water. That makeup remover slash cleanser is 
magical. It's not a micellar water per se, but you would kind of use it the same way. I have been using their cleansing spa water for years. I have probably gone through gallons of it and it is so gentle on the skin, yet it is so effective. It removes makeup better than most anything I have ever used, yet it literally just feels like water on your skin. It is incredible. I highly recommend giving it a shot if you have not tried it. Okay, I am starting to lose my voice, so I am going to wrap this up with a little bit of brush talk. Um, I didn't want to get too far into brushes because I've talked about them in my last year's recommendations video at length and, um, and you guys know how much I love my brushes. But one new brush from Sonia G needs to be mentioned and that is the Smooth Buffer. So the Smooth Buffer brush is made out of um, undyed goat hair. It is a flat buffer brush and it comes with her tapered um, like blue ombre handle. So it's absolutely gorgeous. But what is so amazing about Sonia G's like flat top kabuki brushes is how they buff product into your skin. It really elevates whatever you have on your skin. It just elevates it. So I love using this smooth buffer brush for like highlight and blush. You know, no one wants that like stripey look, that like stripe of highlight, stripe of blush, stripe of bronzer. This smooth buffer pretty much takes care of it all. And it does something to highlight where not only does it like blend it in and really make it kind of like at one with your skin so that it's not kind of sitting on top, but it gives it this really beautiful glow. Like it really uh, burnishes the product into your skin. So this is indispensable to me. I love this brush and it is a smaller, a more petite version of her face one brush which I love to use all over, but as I understand it, I believe this one is sold out. But if this is still available when the sale is going on, I would definitely get this. It's just a little bit smaller, so it would just take a little bit more time <laughs> to work itself around your face, but you can use it pretty much in the same way as the face one. So if there are any other Sonia G brushes that you've had your eye on, now is the time. I, I love every single one. Uh, same with Chikahoto. Chikahoto brushes, they're all amazing. The Surat Beauty brushes. This is just a great, great time to stock up on tools. Tools that you'll use for a very, very long time. And so I'm just gonna cut my video off here. I've been going on and on for a very long time. I, of course, love the new Natasha Denona products. I love the new Charlotte Tilbury products. I just recently did videos on those. Of course, I would recommend them. I recommended them in those videos, but I really wanted to highlight a lot of the brands that I go to Beautylish for, Beautylish specifically. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I would love to try and direct you to like the right purchases during this time. And it is a $20 gift card for every $100 that you purchase. So it's a really great deal. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.